Like, are we going? We're not even going to FD. I am disappointed. JJ likes to go for chain grabs against Fox. He thinks he's so good at going for chain grabs. Um, like, while well, he gets a lot out of his chain grabs, um, usually if you have a good edge guard game against JJ's Fox in the Fox Ditto, you can just take his. You can just take him for, like, I don't want to say free, but. Meanwhile, JJ with a nice shine spike. Um, if Jake, if East Mesa Gangster can get some nice edge guards, he's not gonna have to worry too much about the onstage damage because JJ's recoveries um, are a little bit. Well, like I wouldn't say they're bad. They're just predictable sometimes, and it's like sometimes it's a really bad option. JJ also likes to camp with lasers. Oh, we didn't get that edge guard there. Trying to get those reverse lasers. Else he's trying to shoot the invisible enemy off screen. I don't know which. Nice crouch cancel actually. Ooh, smash GI yeah, out the up air. I don't think East Mesa Gangster has been getting too many grabs. He really should have gone for a grab there on that shield. Uh, didn't react in time though. Yeah, JJ is not going to choose get up attack. He chooses get up attack never. And watch, he's going to choose get up attack during this set. Yeah, you don't want to be caught. Oh, doesn't get the shine spike. You don't want to be caught on the defense, like on defensive. By the ledge against JJ. Uh, that shine back here. You want to stall the shine. Hold down B a little bit longer and then time your jump in sync with um, the sound of Phantasm somehow. Just figure out what corresponds to the distance. Uh, JJ's edgeguard game is not very like it's not as strong in this matchup as his chain grab game and on stage game. Seems like we're having some issues with bracket right now. Nice ledge cancel on that up air. It isn't enough to kill though. Uh, I feel like JJ gets greedy with his kills because oh, that was a really sick shine. Like wow, to be able to react that fast. Wow. Right. I don't know. At least it looked fast for me. Oh man, that was unfortunate. Not enough horizontal after up B to grab ledge. Uh, yeah, it seems like East Mesa Gangster hasn't been teching those up throws onto platform very much. Um, it can mess with Fox's timing. He's expecting to not hit a platform because he's used to getting chain grabbed on FD, for example. Meanwhile, JJ just needs either a solid up smash, up throw up air. Or a solid back air to edge guard to take the stock. Doesn't seem like we're going to be making it back from this. Oh, doesn't get the edge guard in time. JJ is able to turn that around with a solid back air. Take game one. Please don't counter pick him to FD or Yoshi's story. You got the Falco. I feel like the Falco is fraudulent. Yeah, right, JJ. You play Falco. Ugh, red Falco. Falco, Falcon, Yoshi's. Oh yeah, double shine into like double shine in the middle of nowhere is very good if your opponent like is also in the middle of nowhere. Um, however, yeah, actually, JJ is gonna JJ does a lot of stuff with his Falco. It's not he gets I guess like it's not efficient. Um, it's not very efficient. East Mesa Gangster staying in the air a lot. Oh, uh, I feel like that's an okay idea against Falco because Falco's just gonna laser cheese a lot. Really misspaced uh, forward smash, unless that was some sort of bait, which I do not think it was. Um, JJ has been able to take his damage where he can get it though. He's going for like a couple of hits and then running away. And East Mesa Gangster isn't able to catch up. 
There's the first grab we've seen from East Mesa Gangster this game. Uh, JJ was going for a shield drop there. Could have just gone for a shine. Exactly what I'm talking about when I say it's not very efficient. Let's see if we can. Ex oh, that was an unfortunate side B. Let's see if Jake can pull it together. Trying to pressure Falco. We could have just gone for a grab though on shield. Um. Yeah, East Mesa Gangster hasn't been able to convert off of his grabs very well. JJ has just been going for a lot of on-stage stuff. Moving around... Yeah, it is. It's basically just stuff. Moving around really fast, throwing out hitboxes really fast. Because you're... And when you're not able to close the horizontal gap very quickly, throw out a laser. Because it'll keep you covered if the opponent shields. Again, double shine in the middle of nowhere. Uh, East Mesa Gangster has been... Like, he's not been able to throw out hitboxes safely. So, Falco's just been having free reign over the ground with laser and shine. And in the air with back air, nair, down air, etc. Oh, come on. And also, JJ's using uh, these platforms pretty well. Spank beat Max, yeah. Too low. I feel like we could have just back aired there. Um, not at the top platform. JJ not being very efficient with these edge guards at all, um, which is really dangerous because Falco on this stage is dead pretty quickly. And Falco is dead. Exactly what I was talking about when I said not efficient. Just crouches center stage and goes for a down tilt. Like, this. This Falco is silly. Uh, going for a pillar combo in the middle, like in midair. This Falco is silly. Jade has been catching East Mesa Gangster in defense for a lot of this match. For a lot of this set, actually. And it's really dangerous for it's really dangerous against Falco. Present Falco with your shield. Um, JJ knows what to do against shield.